Hello, hello, smooth. Hindi mo sila pareha ng internet eh. Close natin itong iba. Okay. Alam ko hindi ito sila ano eh. Pareha ng... Hello guys. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. It's already what time? 7 p.m. It's already 7 p.m. Hapit natin pa ni Hapon. Okay. So, in our previous uh, live series, live video, it's about IP address, no? So, ngayon naman, this is still part of the IP address, but this is about subnet or subnetting, sub, subnet mask. So, so, before we will go deeper to the concept of subnet mask, you might ask what is subnet mask, no? So, subnet mask used to determine what subnet of IP address belongs to. Uh... Like, like this one. So, the process of subnetting is the division of computers in a network in order into two or more smaller networks. So, in, inside of the organization, or like example, in a school, so, yung school, malaki, di ba? So, meron kang office for library, meron kang finance, meron kang registrar. Inside of these offices, meron sila, silang maraming computers. So, you can segregate those computers according to the uh, office inside the school. So, we have the registrar. So, we can uh, divide this this part as different subnet. This one, net means networking. So, sub means sub. <laughs> Finance and then library. No? Even though they are on the separate Uh, subnet uh, as part of the org structure but they are still connected so subnet so para ma-organize so that's subnet thing now so yesterday you you see the same slide almost same slide in this part like yesterday but yesterday it's about IP class no so class A class B and class C So, how to determine the class according to the IP address. But in this case, if you have class A, it means that the, four, the first octet in that four octet should be full, 255. The rest is zero. That means, if you have a class A IP address, your subnet mask is like this. Okay? 
while class B o dalawa di ba yung sa class B dalawa siya from uh, dito is from 0 to di ba uh, to 127 dito naman is 128 to 191 dito naman is from 192 and so on di ba class D and class E kuan yun reserve yun sila okay so pag class B so dalawang octate dalawang first octates full 255 and the, and the next third and fourth should be zero while class C yung tatlong first octates dapat full 255 lahat tapos zero no? others they use slash twin slash 8 slash uh, 8 plus 8 16 slash 24 but that's the same slash 8 means this one 8 octates uh, 1 octate it means 8 uh, 8 ones and zeros no sa binary no? so binary kasi to di ba sa sa IT binary thing. yung computer kasi nagbabasa ng zero and one no so slash 8 means 8 na ones and zeros or 8 ones this one 16 and this one is 24. Okay, so that's very basic to understand subnet mass. So exercise. So this one, what is the uh, what is this IP address? This IP, IP address is class class C, right? So therefore, ano yung subnet mass niya? Dapat slash 24. Mm, slash 24. So, tatlong 255, 255, and 255, and the rest is 0. Okay? While, number 2, anong class ng number 2? This is class B. So, therefore, yung subnet mass natin, dalawang 255. Okay? This one, 191. So, 191 is class B. No? Madali lang i-memorize itong mga classes, di ba? So, dalawang 255. Number 4. This is 4. Diba? 4 ang naguna. So, this is class A. So, isa lang na 255. Number 5. Number 5 is class C. So, tatlong 255. Diba? So, very basic to understand kung anong subnet mass ng isang IP as long as alam mo yung class ng IP address. Okay? Okay, proceed. In designing IP address, IP address or if we configure our computer to give IP address, meron tayong dalawang way of configuration. Number one, static IP and dynamic IP. So, what is static IP? An IP address that is manually assigned by the user. So, tayo mga network engineer, tinatawag natin, or network technician, tayo yung nagbibigay ng IP address ng computer. So, an IP address does, does not change, no? Ma-off ang computer, pag-on mo, balik, yun pa rin yung IP address ng computer because it's manually encoded by the user. Okay? Dynamic IP, from the word dynamic, so naga change siya. An IP address that keeps on changing. An IP address that is automatically assigned by a DHCP server. So, si DHCP server, sa yung nagbibigay ng, sa mga small network, ay yung mga router, mayroon siyang automatic DHCP, basta naka-enable. So, automatic, itong si server, Tawag natin DHCP. DHCP means Dynamic Host Configuration Configuration Protocol. Siya yung nagbibigay ng IP address sa computer. Now, pag ma-off yung computer, so, nagiging available yung IP address, may pumasok na bagong computer. So, ano naman yung available na nakikita ni server, ibibigay niya. No? So, later on, Pag mag-on itong isang computer, pag balik niyang on, ito, pag balik na i-on ito, ah, hindi na available yung IP address niya dati, so si server magbibigay ng ibang IP address na available. No? 
So, dynamic because nag-change siya kung say available based on the uh, allocation of the DHCP server. Okay? So, DHCP means Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. A protocol for assigning IP addresses to, to devices on, on a network. Kung, kung lahat ng mga tao, meron tayo mga cellphone. Kung i-check check ninyo yung cellphone nyo, meron yung IP address. No? Pag mag-connect kayo sa Wi-Fi. Uh, sa cellphone is automatic. No? Automatic siya, DHCP yun. Pwede naman i-configure automatic doon sa server na once ito ma-assign sa kanya, sa cellphone, ah, hindi na yan ma-change. So, magiging static siya. So, mayroong way pa rin. So, DHCP server, ito yung, ah, ito, ito. Ah, a protocol for assigning IP addresses to a device on a network. DHCP server, a device that provides IP addresses to devices on a network. So, meron tayong Kadalasan router, ginagamit din nating uh, DHCP server. Meron namang mga computer which is dedicated only to provide IP address. No? Like example, si Windows Server. No? Pag marunong ka mag-set up ng Windows Server, na siya ay way to, to make it as DHCP server para yung computer na, na, na Windows Server, siya yung mag-provide ng IP address. Client, ito yung tumatanggap. No? A device that requests for an IP address. Once mo connect ka sa, sa Wi-Fi, so, ikaw yung client, nangihingi ka ng IP address doon sa router or sa server. Sa server naman, uh, ito yung available, ito yung pwede mong gamitin. So, makakonect ka na sa internet or sa network. Okay, ito yung mga private IP address. So, private IP address range, no? Uh, if you are an IT, dapat kabisado mo ito. No? So, minimum, memorize natin ito. Eh. So, sa class A, yan. Si class B, ito naman. Si class C, ito naman. So, public IPs that are addresses are the addresses that are not part of the private IP addresses and reserved IP addresses. So, these are uh, public, uh, private, so, beyond this one are either uh, public or, or reserved IP addresses. Okay. So, this is the I, uh, private IP address. No? So, inside of your computer, you can assign IP address or inside of your organization, you, are as, you can assign. Kung maliit lang computer, no? ninyo. So, you can assign class A. Oh, class C. No? Or class B or class C. Or class A. So, like this. So, these are uh, private network. Ibig sabihin sa computer o sa, sa organization lang ninyo. Yung router na kung saan kumukonect ng kinukonect sa internet palabas, meron siyang public IP. No? Na siya lang ang makakonek maka papunta sa uh, cloud. Okay? Yan. Yan yung concept ng ng public IP. Okay? So, public IP, like example, this one is, a, is an is a public IP address. No? Ito yung mo communicate outside of your network. No? Sir, paano private ito? Paano siya makakonek palabas? No, si routing table, meron yang as si router, meron niyang routing table. No? Kung siya yung nag-request, ilalagay sa routing table, hanapin niya palabas. Pagbalik naman ng data, ah, siya pala yung may request ng google.com example. Itatapon niya balik dito sa 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 private o sa isang PC na nagre-request. Pero that's in a microsecond. No? Mabilis yun eh, yung internet. So, this is the example of basic routing. Mm, let's go for basic routing. Punta ba tayo? So, alam na natin yung subnetting, no? Memorize mo yung IP address, ah, malalaman mo yung ah, malalaman mo yung class ng IP address, then kaya mo ring isupply yung subnet mask. 
now basic routing so routing ito yung lalabas tayo sa ating or lalabas tayo sa ating sariling computer hahanap tayo ng na like example naghahanap ka ng uh, available printer within the organization so yan magra routing yung ano natin yung computer natin hahanap ng magandang path no kung sa internet naman kung magta-type ka ng facebook.com hanapin niyo yung pinaka pinakamagandang route papuntang Facebook server. Kung si Google naman, yun si Google. So, yan. Yun yung routing. Route. So, parang sasakyan, no? may ruta. Yan. So, in, in routing, we need to have a gateway. For example, gateway to heaven. Diba? Sa si San Pedro. So, meron din tayong gateway sa routing, no? sa, sa internet. So, an address used to route or to route data to a different network. So, we have this like gateway. I have this uh, separate network, network 1, network 2. How can I go to other network? So, we need to have a gateway. No, meron tayong kuan, meron tayong gate. So, this is different network as you observe 192.168. 192 is a a different network no this is class C this one also is class class B but gusto mong mag-connect sa kabila so you need to have this gateway okay this is an example of gateway to the network to the internet kung meron kayong computer sa bahay ninyo Ito yung nagiging setup, di ba? Si PLDT or si Globe, may, may binibigay na router. So, si router may, may wire sa labas, no? Papuntang internet. So, this is the gateway para yung mga computer ninyo makakonek papuntang internet. Without this gateway, hindi ka makakonek sa internet. So, dito ka lang sa loob ng inyong network. So, yan. So, this is an illustration of IP address. So, yung subnet mask niya is tatlong 255 because 192 is class C. Same this one, class C. Pero, meron siyang gateway, no? So, pansin ninyo, sa last uh, video, nag-discuss ng IP address, ngayon, merong subnet mask na dagdagan ng gateway, no? So, meron kang gateway, ibig sabihin, pagpunta mo, ah, Si gateway ko yung yung gate na pwede akong so uh, pwede akong lumabas at pumasok ito pala si 192.168.0.1. Yan, isya din gateway niya pa labas to get the internet. No, ganun ganun yung concept ng internet in, in reality. So there are utilities to check your network so we call it network networking utilities this is an example if your computer is properly connected no ganito yung kulay diyan sa baba no sa left ano bottom right corner meron ka makitang ganitong icon so cable is properly connected the computer has a valid ip address basta full na uh, dalawang blue pag ganito Cable is properly connected, but, bantayan ninyo to, computer is not getting a valid IP. So, hindi siya connected siya in physical, but logically, no? uh, virtually, hindi siya makakonect because wala siyang valid na IP address. Pag naka-X yan, pasabot, ibig sabihin, uh, physical uh, network cable is not connected. So, tingnan nyo sa likuran, isaksak nyo. No? either sa PC nyo or doon sa kabilang switch or router so there is another utility we call it uh, ping no? testing connectivity so ping command used to test whether a particular computer is reachable across an IP address so example I want to check this one from this computer kung andito ba siya naka live ba siya so, I can use the ping command.
Yan, example, illustration. Hindi ko na ginamit kanina yung mga sayang. Yan, so ganun yung illustration niya, no? So, papakita natin mamaya. Sa next slide, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano magpiping. No? Ito, ito yung pagpiping ng computer natin. No? So, go to the command prompt. Then, enter the IP address. If you know the IP address of the computer, you can write ping and then IP address. Pag lumalabas na may ganito, pag may reply, ibig sabihin, you are connected and kaya mong mag-communicate no? from PC to PC. Okay? Uh, testing connectivity. So, you can use uh, slash uh, I, ping tapos IP address slash t to check the stability. Makikita nyo ang series pag mag time out ito, makikita mo may 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 time out na nakalagay. Hmm. To test the the stability from from time to from time to time. Uh, next is pinging a website. So now you are in the network. Gusto mong i-check kung baka connect ka bukas uh, sa website sa labas so you can also ping like example this one write the word ping and then example google.com so ganyan kung stability you can add slash t uh, dusty yan so that's the command no to test connectivity connectivity inside the network or connectivity outside the network like internet Hardware requirements. Siyempre, ito. Kailangan natin ito. Di ba? The NIC. As we discussed in the first uh, video natin. Ano to ha? Dapat ano to? Eh? Third topic na tayo eh. Ano nakalagay dun? Parang nagkakamali ako. Wait lang ha. Nagkakamali Ba't gano'n yung na-live? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Tama, tama, tama. Wait, guys. Wait, guys. Yan. Naririnig kaya ako? Okay, okay, okay. Naririnig ako. Yan. Yan. <laughs> okay, next. So, kailangan natin ng ganito. Di ba? Sa NIC. NIC. Kailangan natin ng UTP cable. Kailangan natin ng switch. No? Yan yung mga requirement natin to go to the internet. If not, dapat meron kang router na mag-provide ng Wi-Fi, uh, wireless fidelity, connectivity, and then yung phone mo, i-connect mo via Wi-Fi. There are two ways to connect the network, di ba? Sa first natin na uh, video, wired at saka wireless. Okay? Okay, these are networking part of the procedures no? to check the, the internet. Connect the computer to the hub or switch using Ethernet. But hindi na ako makaklik. Check natin na. Punta. Yan. So, so na-discuss na natin yan, di ba? Connect the network. No. So, paslak lang ng paslak dyan. No? Either switch or hub. Then, dapat naka, dapat connected na sa, 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 uh, ibig sabihin nito, doon sa ating plug, no? or else, walang kuryente, wala din yan. Okay. Okay, back. So, always check this one, no? So, always check this one. Dapat naka-light siya. So, kung saan ka nakakonek, dapat naka-light siya. Okay, yan. Example, PC3 and PC2. So, dapat connected sila. May power. Port 1 saka port 3 ang connection mo. So, dapat, pag-check mo dito, may power. 
si port 1 pero connect mo kanina si port 3 walang lights dito so ibig sabihin pwede mo i-check yung wire baka sira yung wire or or no or loosen siya no dapat iduot iduot yun siya ba yun hmm yan so posibleng may problema si 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 or naka off yung computer di ba pwede rin yan connectivity wired connection ang ang problema dito no? possible causes this one or here or this one is shut down so hindi siya naka green Okay, next, turn on the hub or switch. So, basic, basic way. You should turn on. Next is check this one. Check, check. So, okay na yan. No? Ah, nasundan na natin yan, di ba? Hmm. Okay, okay na yan. Okay na yan. So, ito yung root cost natin. Okay. Okay, next. How to check a computer's IP address? So, paano tayo mag-check ng computer IP address? So, old to ha, pero same lang. So, ganito. No? Click ninyo itong start, din run. Type cmd. And then, type config IP. Makikita mo itong, ito. Ito yung dinidiscuss natin, di ba? IP address, submit mask, and gateway okay okay how to ping computer yan yan type ping okay okay yan next is computer name how to me how to to label or assign computer name and work group. So, a label assigned to a computer that is connected to a network used to identify a computer which means computer name should be unique. No? Like example, marami kayong computer so dapat naka-name siya according to the user or according to, yeah, according to the user. And then sa work group naman, according to the office. No? And So, work group label assigned to a group of computers in a network. So, this group is uh, finance group. This group is library. Uh, computer is a same. Computers in the same work group can share resources easily. How to assign computer and work group names. So, right click. Kita nyo yung my computer properties. Then, computer name. Then, computer name, change the button, okay, up, 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 change, then type the computer, and then the work group, no, then, right now it's about, uh, type the work group, then okay, yes. how to share resources, if you have folder, say button, Right click, then properties, then sharing, and then share this folder to a network. Check natin, share this folder on the network. Type the uh, name of the of the the folder that you want to share next how to sh access shared resources so go to start type ip address or slash the name of the computer or enter second so this one this this way up, 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 up. wait then open my does the the second one is open my computer click networks places, view computers, double click the computer you want to access in to access the files from. Yan. Ito yung name kanina, di ba? So, makakita mo siya dito. By writing this one. Okay. Should we proceed to wireless? Uh, no. 
that's all. Dito lang muna tayo para next meeting, our video is about wireless networking. Okay? Hopefully, uh, we can easily, right? So, very simple way to illustrate about networks, no? The IP address, the subnet mask, and the gateway. And how to assign IP address in our computer, either static or dynamic way. Okay? So, this is the, the last part of our topic for today, but uh, next uh, next video we will discuss about wireless uh, networking uh, the purpose and advantages of uh, wireless networking which is mobility flexibility and so on that will be discussed next uh, video that's all for this video please subscribe and click the notification to be notified for our next video i don't know when when will be our the next video a live video no well depending yung availability ko sa classico no? to make a live video okay that's all see you on the next video